Okay, let's talk about heart sounds. Because when we do our patient assessments and when you do your head to toe video, you're gonna to have to listen to the five areas of the heart and listen to heart sounds. Now already we've discussed listening to the apical pulse, which is the mitral on the fifth intercostal space midclavicular line. And that's the one that we will most commonly listen to. But there are four other spots that we will do uh, heart sounds for. And when you do your video, you'll have to do those uh, five areas. When listening to heart sounds on your stethoscope, there are two sides usually. Some of the newer stethoscopes doesn't have two sides. The larger part of the stethoscope is called the diaphragm. The small part of the stethoscope is called the bell. And the bell is the side that you use to listen to heart sounds because it's more fine tuned. Now, as a nurse, I'm not a cardiac nurse. I can tell when someone's heart rate is regular or irregular. I cannot hear AFib or BFib or you know, asystole. I know that one because that's when the heart's not beating. And I can tell when it's uh, normal. I can tell if it's too slow or too fast, but I cannot detect the rhythm. So let's talk about the five areas. And it's called eight to man. And I never knew what that was when I was in nursing school. We were not taught that. And one of the first clinical groups I uh, took to clinical three or four years ago, one of my nursing students, her patient was dying and she was standing over the patient all frantically going ape to man, ape to man, and she was panicking because she was trying to listen to the heart sounds. And I had no clue what she was talking about. So uh, we do teach this now because now the RN programs and the LPN bridge programs are stressing this as well. So you'll have a heads up on what they expect in case you decide to go on to RN school. So eight to man, I'm gonna show you on my skeleton here where you're supposed to be looking. The A stands for the aortic, P is pulmonic, E is herbs point, T is tricuspid, and M is mitral. So A-P-E-T-M, eight to man. So whenever you're listening for the aortic, that's not apical, aortic. That's in the second intercostal space close to the sternum. So we're talking here is where you would listen with your stethoscope on the right hand side. The pul pulmonic is on the left hand side, second intercostal space beside the sternum. Directly below that is the herbs point and it's in the third intercostal space close to the sternum. Below it in the fourth intercostal space is the tricuspid where the tricuspid valve is close to the sternum. And finally, the M, the mitral, one, two, three, four, five, fifth intercostal space, mid-clavicle, is where you would listen to the mitral. Now, what does that mean? Now, when our heart, when we hear our heart sound, we hear a lub-dub, lub-dub. That is S1 and S2. The lub sound is S1, the dub is the S2. The S1, or the lub sound, is heard best at the mitral valve or the apical pulse site. Okay, so that's your S1. S2 is heard at the aortic valve. So your dub is heard best here. Your ERPS point is where you hear both S1 and S2 quite clearly. Okay, so aortic, pulmonic, ERPS point, tricuspid, mitral. The mitral is your apical pulse. Do not get that mixed up with the A of the aortic. S1, S2, love up, love up. And those are the four, the five spots you'll be expected to uh, auscultate or listen to in your head to toe assessments.